Montana fans witnessed another blowout today. This one was the good kind with some bad thrown in. Derek Berkeley recaps the final non-conference game for the Grizzlies. Montana dominated today in Washington Grizzly Stadium, but the mood of the team afterwards, heartbroken. The Grizzlies' blowout win over Savannah State comes at a cost. Montana redshirt senior quarterback Reese Phillips had the offense working from the start against the Tigers. Quick pass for a 17-yard gain to Jerry Louie McGee. Elijah Lee ran in a short touchdown after the nice opening drive. Second possession, Phillips airs it out, and Keenan Curran hauls in the 53-yard gain. Lee again finished with the touchdown, 14-0 Grizz. Phillips was a perfect 11-for-11 11 11 in the first quarter. But early in the second, Phillips steps up in the pocket, gets wrapped up. He suffers a gruesome lower leg injury. The senior stayed on the ground for several minutes before being carted out of the stadium. Montana turned to redshirt freshman Gresh Jensen at that point. He runs in a short TD run to make it 21-0. Just a minute later, TJ Bell under heavy pressure from the Grizz all day, just trying to throw it away, but it lands right in the hands of Ryan McKinley. He follows the defenders turn blockers all the way back 53 yards for a touchdown. Jensen went to work through the air after that, tossing three touchdown passes. He finished 11 for 15 for 178 yards and one interception. Montana blows out Savannah State 56-3. But afterwards, everyone was thinking about Reese Phillips. Just knowing his, his story and, and how long he's waited to get to that point and how well he was playing uh, uh, up to that point, uh, you know, it, it, it breaks my heart. And I know it does everybody else in, in our football program. You see him go down, you know, it hurts not just him, not just all, you know, it hurts everyone, um, makes everyone play for him. So he's a leader on our team, you know, we're going to keep him in our thoughts and uh, Hopefully he recovers well. It was a little tough, but just I mean, just seeing him out there and laying down. I know how hard he worked and how good of a person he is. And um, just to be out there, you got you got to get mentally ready though. Uh, so it's like you don't you don't want to look at it too much. I try not to look at it because that was pretty tough. Everyone up and down the Grizzlies roster can feel good about what they did here against the Tigers, but now the attention will solely focus on number two, Gress Jensen, going into next week when he will most likely make his first career start to kick off Big Sky Conference play against defending Big Sky champ Eastern Washington. In Washington Grizzly Stadium, Derek Berkeley, MTN Sports.